Well, hello, everybody, and happy Saturday night. It is date night with Lisa, or pajama party with Lisa, or whatever you want to do. Um, we are going to be stamping tonight, and I'm in my pajamas, and hopefully you guys are too. And it is a beautiful day here in Chesapeake, Virginia. It's almost over because it's 7 o'clock, so it's getting dark, but it was absolutely gorgeous. But I ended up staying in the house all day and stamping because I have so much to do because I have a meeting coming up on Monday and I have to get a whole bunch of projects ready for that and classes coming up this week so I wanted to get a video done today too because I try to get here every Saturday night and Tuesday and Thursday also to bring you a new video and this is the one we're going to be doing tonight which is super beautiful it's lots of subtle soft pastel colors and we're going to be doing watercoloring tonight with this one so let's let everybody get on here. I sent out an email, so hopefully we'll have some people on here tonight. Let me refresh my computer and see who's watching. Looks like we've got a few people. Uh-oh, I just hit the wrong button. Okay, there we go. All right. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Janaya. Janaya, I gotta remember to say your name right. <laughs> hey Carol, hey Diane, how are you guys doing today? Hope you guys had an awesome day too. It was so nice outside, I really wanted to go outside but I just had too much to do. So I'm hoping tomorrow will be nice again. Oh, thanks Michelle. So what did you guys do today? Anything exciting besides stamping? <laughs> All right, so this is the card that I came up with for today, and I made this a couple days ago, but, well, I actually made the top part a couple days ago. I actually made the rest of the card today, um, and luckily, I did make it a couple days ago because I actually lost this die, so after I cut it out the other day, I don't know what I did with it. Um, I've searched my um, die cutting area. I've searched my stamping table. I've searched all the boxes, and I cannot find it, but luckily, I already had one pre-done for the video, so we're going to be using that one so I don't know where it is but it's somewhere probably on my stamp table underneath the pile of stuff um, I wanted to show you a couple other cards that I had made earlier um, this one right here I did a video of uh, I don't know maybe six months ago or so and I found that and then this one I also did a few months ago I didn't do a video with it but I thought it was really pretty and that was actually from uh, the last celebration stamp set that those words and I really liked those and then this one is a really, really old card that I found when I was digging through some stuff. And that's actually what gave me the idea for this card because I found this one where I had embossed it in the white and then watercolored it. And I was like, oh, I love this card. So that's basically what I'm gonna try and recreate today, except we're using different colors. So I don't know if you guys remember this old stamp from, I don't know, probably 10 years ago, but that's what we're gonna be doing today. So thanks for joining me tonight. And are you guys in your pajamas? Anybody in their pajamas? Hey, Diane. All right, Michelle had a class today and got some new furniture. That's exciting. All right, let's show you what we're using. On page 35, we're using Simply Succulents, the stamp set and the dies that go with it. And like I said, I'm missing the one that cuts this out. And I'm gonna show you what I did with this stamp because I love this stamp set, but I don't like this part of the stamp. It just seems too big when I use it with the pot. So every time I use this stamp, I always end up cutting this part off. So I actually doctored my um, stamp. <laughs> so this is what it looks like originally, and I actually cut this off. Ah! So I did a little surgery on the stamp. So now it's two pieces and now I can use this one separate But if I want to use the whole thing, I can just shove it back on there like that So I did really really carefully kind of cut around that and took that off So if you want to do that you can but just be careful because you don't want to mess your stamp up, but that's what I did So let me show you what else you need. You need the greenery embossing folder. That's on page 184 and that's the stamp set and the dies you get a ton of dies. You get all of these plus the one I'm missing, which cuts out the big thing. And then you also get this one, which is really cool. And I didn't even realize that was in there until a little while ago. 
it was kind of hiding behind this one and I pulled it out. I was like, oh, I didn't even know that die was in there. <laughs> so I've never used it. <laughs> oh, Diane, you're in your pajamas. Great. Okay, so let me show you what paper products we need. And we are going to be using five and a half by eight and a half white, a four by five and a quarter fresh freesia. I've already embossed this with the greenery embossing folder. And this one is not a full size one. So what you do is you just put it on here like that on the edge and just line it up and run it through. So this part's going to be covered. So we only need that part right there. And then you need a two by five and a quarter balmy blue. And you know what I did when I wrote the name on here? I put Bashful Blue. Anybody remember Bashful Blue from a long time ago? And I just caught it right before I started the video. I was like, wait a minute, that's not Bashful Blue. <laughs> All right, need three and a half by three watercolor paper and two and a half by four white. So that's your paper for today. So take a screenshot of that and we are gonna get started. All right, first thing we'll do is watercolor because that is gonna take a little while to dry. So we're gonna set the rest of this aside for a minute and start on this piece. And I'm gonna use, well, we have to emboss and stuff first. So you're gonna start with your stamp and ink it up with the Versamark. So this is Versamark, which is the ink you wanna use if you're embossing, since we don't have those craft ink pads anymore like we used to. And then just stamp right on here and give it a good press. The watercolor paper is thicker than regular paper, so um, you need to kind of press it for an extra minute to get the ink to soak in a little bit. I know you probably can't see that because it's really light. And then you're going to put embossing powder on top of that. So I've just thrown like three containers of white in here because it's easier to just to scoop it from there and then you can see it kind of pop up so there you go so I'll try and get the extra powder off we don't have the embossing buddy anymore which I don't know why they got rid of that but we really need that um, all right so then you're gonna heat it up and emboss it I've already done that ahead of time so I'm just gonna set this aside for right now so I already went ahead and embossed it. All you do is just heat it up with your heat tool and it comes out like this. So hopefully you can see that. I know it's a little bit um, light on there. And then I put it through the die cutting machine and cut it out with the die that's missing. <laughs> so just imagine that and where I cut it off um, let me see, where did I cut it off? Right here. So where I cut it off right there, you're, you're just gonna have to trim around there. Or you can leave it, if you wanna leave yours whole, you can. Um, it's just personal preference. So I just don't like that little stuff. I think it looks like pine cones or something. I don't know, so I just didn't use it. All right, so now what we're gonna do is watercolor this. So I've got three colors. We're using Coastal Cabana, Highland Heather, and Balmy Blue. You can either squish your pad um, like this and get the ink in the lid and just use it from here but what I like to do is actually take a block and put some ink on the block so I put a little bit of ink on there and then I'm gonna put another little bit of ink on the other end usually I use one block for each color but I'm running short on blocks right now so I've got blue on there and purple on there and that's balmy blue and then I'm gonna put the coastal cabana on another one so we'll have all three blocks with some ink on them. But if you don't wanna do that, just feel free to use the ink from your lid right here. You can actually squirt a little bit of refill in there if you want to, too. All right, so then we're gonna take an aqua painter, and I've got my old aqua painter because I really like this one a lot. And we're gonna start with whatever color you want. Um, I think I'm gonna start with this one right here. I'm gonna get it a little bit wet. So I'm squeezing some water out of here. And I forgot to wet this part, so I'm gonna just wet this real quick. There's a little bit of blue on here, but that's okay. So I just wanna wet this whole surface so that the ink will spread out um, easier. So just get it good and wet. And then we're gonna take some of this and just squeeze it on. And it's just gonna kind of run over the place. 
So you just leave it like that. That's really kind of wet, but it'll dry in a second. All right, and then we're gonna switch colors to the, let's do the, yeah, let me see. It's gonna go this way. I think I'm gonna do the blue at the top this time. So I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of water in here and get the blue. And just go around there. And there's really no rhyme or reason. I'm just kind of squishing this out wherever. And I'm gonna go back over with some more color in a minute. And then I'm gonna switch to purple. I have got this super wet, so it's gonna take a little while to dry, but that's okay. But where it's embossed, it's not sticking, so it's creating like little, um, sections in there for me so let's I think that's enough purple and you want to clean between each one I'm gonna put a little bit more this color right here coastal cabana and it's already starting to dry if you want to be like super perfect at coloring you can but I kind of like it to be all mixed up And then when you finish, if you think, oh, I want to put some more of that color over here, or I need some more purple over this way. When you're doing flowers, they always, they're usually not perfect in color. They kind of are, oh, you know what? I think I need some purple in the middle. So let's go back and do some purple in the middle. And you can kind of mix it a little bit. If you want to dry it a little bit so that it's not, um, I'll take away the color that's there and put a little bit more water. Oops, let's take that off. Okay, so let's put some purple in there. The water's not coming out very good now. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit too much water. All right, so. We're gonna let it dry for just a minute. I'm gonna put a little bit more blue over here. Oh, oh, thanks, Janae. Are you in your PJs today? Or is it too early? <laughs> I never got out of mine today, so I've been <laughs> in my PJs all day long. <laughs> That's one, one reason I never went outside either. I said, I'm just gonna stay inside and stamp all day. All right, I think we need just a little bit more purple. In the middle here. And what do you guys think? You liking that color? I think it looks pretty good. Maybe just a little bit more Coastal Cabana. In the middle. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I'm just gonna leave it there and I'm gonna let it sit and dry for just a few minutes. So you're done with these, you don't need them anymore. And we're gonna let that sit and dry and then we're gonna do the other part. So for this part right here, I did use the Versamark to stamp this flower which comes in there. I tried it with Bashful Blue and it's a little bit too dark. So Versamark's a color you can use on any color of cardstock just to make um, the same color on there. It just kind of makes a, um, I don't know what you call it. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I can't think of the word I'm looking for. <laughs> All right, so can you see it? It makes it look blue, but I just stamped it in clear. So Versamark is clear and it just makes that image on there so I can do that with any color of cardstock I want and it would show up that color of cardstock just a little bit darker so we're done with that piece oh you know what I want to do too is stamp the inside so I forgot to show you the inside we've got the flowers here so I'm gonna switch that to blue and do the inside real quick so we're just gonna open that up and stamp a couple times with that blue and then oh you know what I want to do too is a little sponging 
So I'm going to take that and I need some scrap paper. So let's just sponge right in here. I've been sponging all day long with these blender brushes because I have, I'm doing a swap for my meeting on Monday and the theme is using your blending brushes or blending uh, Stampin' Blends to um, create a card. And then I want to do my words, um, here they are, in purple. Oh, watermark. That's exactly what I was trying to think of, watermark. Oh my gosh, thank you. It's on a brain fart. Okay, there we go, stamp the words right there. So I'm loving these pastel colors. I am a blue and pink and purple kind of person. These are my favorite colors. All right, so we're done with the blue for just a sec. Now what I want to do is the pot. So on the white piece, we're going to ink up our pot in black. And I got a piece of something in there. All right, so we're gonna ink this up in black and just stamp it near the bottom, maybe like a half an inch from the bottom. And then we're gonna color that. Oh, I messed up right there, but that's okay. Cause it'll be covered with the flowers. All right, so we're gonna use our Stampin' Blends and I've got the balmy blue, um, light and dark, and I've also got the light smoky slate. So I'm gonna start with the light balmy blue and just color the pot kind of all over. And I am not a master watercolor or um, coloring person. So I just kind of usually go over everything with the light first and then I go back and highlight the dark. So then I'm going to take the dark one and just go around the edges. And I did this first with crumb cake and um, it didn't look right with pastel color. So I went back and changed it to blue and I thought it came out much better. But I've never really gotten that shading part down. You know how some people are like so good at doing the, the shading thing. And they can always like create that look so it looks so real. I'm not good at that. <laughs> but I'm not like super bad either. So um, then I'm going to go back over that with the light. But just kind of leave it a little bit light in the middle. And then what I like to do is take the white. And I always go like over the center part with the white. And it kind of smooths it out and also takes off a little bit of the color. And then I'm going to take the gray and just kind of do like a little shadowy part down here. And then take the white and soften that up a little bit too. So this is the color lifter. I always call it the white one, but it's a color lifter. So it takes color away from whatever color you have. So if you ever get it too dark and you are you messed up, like when I was coloring today earlier, I um, got a big blob of blue right there. So I just used this and it took it right off of there and you can't even see it now. So I think that looks pretty good. I mean, even though I'm not a like great colorer, it's hard to mess up with these things because you can always fix it with this one. And you know, if you get too much ink and the key is just not putting too, too much, you know, you can always add more, but it's hard to take some away. So. All right, so this is pretty much dry now, and I think it came out really pretty. Love it. All right, so now we're gonna put it together. So I wanna sponge this just a little bit with the blue. So this is balmy blue again, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of blue around the edges, just to kind of soften it a little bit. Okay, and there we go. All right. Coming along, coming along. All right, so now we wanna put it together. So we're gonna start with these two and just make sure they line up. Sometimes they're a little sliver off and you have to trim them a little bit. And whenever I have something that's embossed, I wanna use the green glue because um, if you just use the regular adhesive, sometimes it doesn't stick that well. So I like the green glue. And I'm just gonna leave a little bit of the Fresh Freesia showing I think I put that upside down. I want that side on 
the left. Okay, there we go. All right. And then we're just gonna hold that for a sec. And then just check it. It looks like it's a smidge off. So I'm gonna trim that up just a teeny bit. And get that little sliver off of there. All right, so now we can put that on here. And again, I'm gonna use the green glue because it is embossed. And lay that on top. And, oops, I got ink on my finger. Not coming off. <laughs> Today was just one of those lazy days. I just, I just was wanting to go outside so bad and sit in the sun, which I know is horrible for me because I've had skin cancer, so I shouldn't be out in the sun at all. But when you have a day that's just beautiful outside, you just want to go out there and soak it up. All right, so then we're going to put this right here, but I want to put some dimensionals under there. So let me grab some dimensionals. I've cut these all up. Oops. This one's got something stuck on it. There we go. All right, so we just got like half, uh, five half ones on there, but you can put a ton more if you want. And peel those off. I bought some blueberries at the store yesterday, so I think I'm gonna make a blueberry cobbler tomorrow. I know it's fattening, but it's so good. They looked so good and they were on sale. All right, so put that, let's do it just a little bit over there. It looks a little crooked. All right, there we go. Then we wanna put this on with dimensionals too. So let's put a bunch on the back of that one. I would be using full ones, but I don't have any full ones. <laughs> I cut all these in half. <laughs> so we're just gonna use the little ones. Okay, so I think, oh no, there's one more. All right, so then kind of position this how you want it. I think I'm gonna do it just like this. And see the other thing that's on there where I cut it off, where is it cut off? Oh, I can't even tell anymore. I think it's right here. So then normally that other piece that I cut off would be right there and you'd have to really, I don't know, it looks kind of wonky when you have that on there like that. So that's one reason I just cut it off. All right, now we gotta do a bow and I just have some extra ribbon that was laying on the table. This is the white, um, Crinkle, what is it called? Crinkle seam, no, crinkle, white crinkle ribbon. I don't remember exactly what it's called. <laughs> okay, somebody help me out. Who's watching? <laughs> Who knows what this, the crinkle? I don't know. I know it's crinkled something. Michelle, where are you when I need you? <laughs> All right, so we've got that. I don't have the roll with me to look at it. All right, so then we're gonna put that on with the glue dot down at the bottom. Seam binding, I was thinking seam binding, but then I don't know why I said, no, that doesn't sound right. Yeah, white, white seam binding, crinkled seam binding ribbon. Okay, I'm glad you guys know, it, know everything. <laughs> All right, so then I put the ribbon on there. That's a little bit too long, so we're gonna just trim it up just a little bit. I love this ribbon, it's so pretty. And you can stamp on this too. Sometimes I stamp on it and make it different colors. All right, so then we've got to add some bling. So I brought my pearls in here that I had yesterday, the uh, metallic ones, because I noticed they're kind of blue. So these silver metallic um, pearls are actually bluish tinted, so I think they look good when you're using blue colors. So we're just gonna put a couple of those on here with the take your pick tool. And what do you think? Do we need Wink of Stella sprinkled on here? Or is it good? 
Do we always need Wink of Stella, I think? <laughs> I hardly ever do a card without Wink of Stella anymore. But we can stick it on here and sparkle it and see what happens. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's always good with some sparkle. I love it. Mm. Okay, so there you go. That's the card for tonight. So what do you guys think? Yes, wink. So that's the original one. This is the other one. Hopefully they look almost the same. <laughs> I think the bow is better on that one though. This one's a little bit too big, but that's okay. All right, so thanks you guys for joining me tonight. Oh, thank you for the love too. My colors, yes, Carol, I know they were your colors. I thought about that when I was doing it. I'm like, Carol's, Carol's gonna love this card. All right, so don't forget, if you wanna order anything today, you can just go to stampingwithlisa.com. Here's the host code for July. And also, don't forget if you're watching on YouTube or on Facebook, you can leave a comment, you can win the card. I forgot to pick winners for the last couple cards tonight, but um, I'll do that next time. So I give away all the cards that I make, and all you have to do is leave a comment. It has to be a nice one. Don't leave a mean one. Remember, if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. <laughs> all right, and don't forget, if you order something, I'll always send you a nice gift. So I would love to have you as a customer. And don't forget, we're having the sale, the paper sale. For, so all the, um, not all of it, but a lot of it, the designer paper is 15% off. So it's a great deal right now if you want to get some. And, oh, thank you, Michelle. You have a great weekend, too. And I will see you on Monday, too. All right, you guys have an awesome rest of your weekend and enjoy your day tomorrow. And I'll be back Tuesday night or, yeah, Tuesday night because I have to work Tuesday till 6. So it'll be definitely on Tuesday night with another video. And thanks so much for joining me tonight for pajama party stamping or date night, whichever one you want. And take care and have a great rest of your weekend. Bye-bye.